How do you guys feel? Awesome, sir. Ready to get a new belt? Yes, sir. You gotta show some moves off first. Say, I will. I will. Develop myself. Develop myself. In a positive manner. In a positive manner. I will. I will. Develop self discipline. Develop self discipline. I will. I will. Use common sense. Use common sense. Before self defense. Before self defense. Say we are. We are. Black belt school. Black belt school. We are motivated. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. We are on a quest to be our best. Say Asa. Asa. You scared? Hey Ray. Uh. Before we start, I'm talking to all the parents, grandparents, whoever else is here. Um, I don't know if you've heard me tell this story, because I'll tell the same stories over and over again. But here's this is this is a story that really happened. There was a, a karate tournament in Mississippi. And if you've ever been to a karate tournament, they always have a black belt meeting at the beginning. You guys have been to a karate tournament, right? Well, in different tournaments do things differently, but in the black belt meeting, some of the black belts were talking about if they could only teach their students one move or one technique, what it would be. What? You know, some people were saying reverse punch, some people were saying sidekick. Then this one guy said self confidence. And I was like, I like that. And I've been t saying that for 20 years now. But that's what karate is really about. It's not about uh, acquiring a bunch of knowledge or not about beating somebody's brains in. It's about believing in yourself. And if you have self-confidence in one area of life, you can apply it to other areas of life. And that's what these belts do for you guys. That's the magic of karate. They're small goals. Once you attain a goal, you get a little bit of confidence in yourself. And hopefully you can become a black belt in other parts of life. Not just black belts in karate. We understand? Yes, sir! Lucas, right here. Matthew, right here. Bryce. female instructors. At the time we did. Uh, I was like, yeah, why? She's like, my daughter won't talk to me. Okay. She didn't talk to me for about a year. Why <laughs> <laughs> don't she talk to you guys? No. One time I taught a class instead of Miss Patricia and she was pretty upset about it. <laughs> but she's gotten over. She's gotten to the She's really grown, man. I'm impressed. All right, here we go. Show me attention stance. Attention stance! Make it look sharp. Show me ready stance. Ready stance! Horse stance. Horse stance! Front stance. Front stance! Back stance. Back stance! Cat stance. Cat stance! And guarding stance. Guarding stance. 
Give me two claps. Get me ready, Steve. Somebody can say, hey, you're ugly. And you can get real mad about it and start a fight. But did you know fighting is very dangerous? Yeah. Yes, sir. A lot of people think, they find out, I know you've been through it, I know you've been through it. You're going to go through it eventually. People are going to find out you do karate. And guess what they're going to start saying to you? Did you do it? Ooh, I, I don't want to fight you. Ooh, can you fight good, huh? They think because you do karate that you love to fight. But it's not why you do karate. Okay? Fighting is dangerous. You only do it if you have to. And hopefully if you use your brain, you never have to. Yes. Karate is about self-defense. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now we're going to do dangerous <coughs> moves. Get in the guarding stance. Yeah. Look right at the mirror. Pretend you have no choice, but you have to use your moves. Show me a front punch. Ready? One. Okay, try again. When you punch, you might want to yell, suck. Okay, ready? One. Suck. Bring it back. Well, would you leave your punch out? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then bring it back. Yeah, bring it back. You leave it out, you're going to grab it and bite it. Guards, ready? One. Do the fastest punch to see if you know it. One. 